ni mwalimu ni lazima ni wafunze kidogo uh, na mnasikia because the correct term should be her excellency the second lady dr pastor dorcas regadi mumenielewa eh wale hawakuelewa nitapeana tuition baadaye the family of our gallant soldier ambaye amelala hapa the clergy your excellency had had the opportunity today to just speak a little uh, while i was inviting the former president the fourth president of the republic of kenya mheshimiwa uhuru muigai kenyatta all parliamentarians here with us i had the deputy governors former wale walikuwa all the leadership the police force naona kirai the pale hakuna mtu anamtambua na wengine i i yako huko ndani huko na kina mere mere traffic officer your excellency i grew up in kenya police tukiwa na my deputy sasa ukisikia naongea maneno hao watu unajua ni huko tulipata hii maneno i say i knew mwangi kingori while in kenya police college because that's where my father worked and i knew him as we we also grew up there and i am glad that many people have spoken and said that this was a brutally honest man what he didn't like he said it today as a family we want to wish you well we want to tell you i know you walked this journey especially when we lost mom now dad has gone there is a reason for that there have been others the brothers and we want to just encourage you because all of us wale tumejaa kwa hema wale tuko wapi something will happen and we will be so busy the deputy president himself is just from Kirenyaga from another funeral of 20 i think 17 people tomorrow there is going to be another one but once you put your trust in the lord he will be close to you he is a friend i want to remind you the words in genesis 50 where when joseph knew he was about to die he called his brethren and told them i am about to join the ancestors but i will ask and i want to tell you and confirm god will come for you and for us as the governor of nyeri the deputy president the president and everybody of us we shall be there for you because of your father and the relationship we had your mother was a teacher we taught together in nyeri so we have come here to just condole with you and to tell you poleni sana mjikaze bond together as a family hold together even the larger family and all shall be well amen amen your excellency uh, just before um, i escorted the president the former president i thanked him for what he had done for nyeri and we agreed and i told him he owes us a goat and he needs to call us as the leaders from our mountain sababu hajakosa kambuzi twende tule and we, we shall go but i also passed and said you had told me you would have wished to be here when he was here but unfortunately you are where you were and i would want to say number one your excellency we want to thank you and to encourage you for the hard work you are doing together with the, uh, with pastor dorcas her excellency is on it on the matter of Pombe Haramu. And I want to say this Major Dong. I am thinking you are talking about the Nyeri you knew before you went to uh, to Nairobi. Sisi tumekanyagia. Your Excellency, I want to inform you now. In Nyeri for the last four years, we have never issued a license for wines and spirits. Tulikata. I gave an executive order and said if that's the only business people can do. Remember, the former PS in T uh, PS interior is the one who has been selling that, that stuff here so when we realized that there were other powers out there we stopped that and we will continue to fight that battle to support you because the future of Nyeri and Kenya and the entire region is if we can stem this issue of Pombe your excellency we want to just encourage you continue and we, we will support you like you have heard the majority uh, the, the, the whip say we are on it we shall attack from all angles 
and I'm glad I even heard uh, Governor Waiguru has declared that he has cancelled all licenses and is going to start a fresh process. That is exactly what we will soon do in this county. So that we can weed out all those people who are selling illicit brew and messing up. Maybe I'll also ask the PCA church, because I know some of you are very strong adherents, work on a bar. You start vetting the matanyin. Vet them, because I have never understood how you will be selling pombe upande ule, watoto wa wenyewe wafe, na sande wewe and you hapa, buwana esu wa sifiwe, sijui tuende wapi. We are, hypocrisy must go, and we must look at it that way. So we would want, and it's not only the PCA church, it's everywhere. The other day I was sharing with the, one of, with the, the senator, that one of my good uh, pastors, has approached us, at, can you help me with the wines and the spirits? I say, what pastoring are you doing, surely? So we would rather he be a shara ishe, he opesa kidogo to naokota ikai. And that is why I want to thank Pastor Dorcas. Right now, our rehabilitation center in Ihororo, which has a hundred bed capacity, is full to the brim. We are handling our, our children there. We are taking care of them. Your Excellency, before I invite uh, C.S. Kuria, because I can see him here, and also uh, maybe I will, uh, I have seen Alex, the, the P.S. is here. Allow me to say this, Your Excellency. We are all rallying behind you as a mountain, and there are no two ways about it. And I have told Kanini Kega as much. I have told Kanini Kega that they went to hunt we went to hunt tukashika hao hawakushika kitu sasa wakuje tukae chini tuone ni nini tuko nayo because as a region we cannot afford to be speaking three languages we are stronger when we are speaking in one language and when we are solidly behind our son mheshimiwa regade kachagua in this point, why am i saying that your excellency I will be lying to myself if I said that when I look at this crowd and the bigger one, we are in, we, we, we were together, like my brother has just said. It is important that now as a community, we work together, we focus, we support the leadership that is there, the Mau Mau roads, every other thing that is being done here, we will only achieve to Kianenda Pamoja. On the matter of the hospital that has been raised, your Excellency, when we were in Kiando, the President promised to give me a hundred million and I raised a hundred million, then we could build a hospital. We are still working on that as we await the conditional grants because the, until that bill is passed, we cannot allocate money. So when the MCAs, and, and I know that matter has been corrogated a little here in Teto, Ya siyasa kidogo, siju itakuwa gechira, siju itakuwa wa magana. Kaya na inyo mabageli ya gotu mera kana guo ginyagata le karade ju. Kakarashi ya ru. So the fact of the matter is that we are awaiting a conditional grant bill so that the president has a way of giving us the hundred million na sisi tuweke hundred million to jenge hospitali teto. Your Excellency, teto is the only county, I mean a sub-county, that does not have a level four hospital. On whether it shall be in Gechera, it shall be in Wamagana, hiyo ni mambo ya watu ya teto na watatuambia. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. May I also say this, thank you for your commitment, going to Kerenyaga, coming here, inaonyesha vile, and we know you are a hard worker. We want to appreciate you and to thank you very, very much. Right now, nataka ni muita CS. Now, 